Assalamualaikum and we are back again and today is the International Astronomy Day. Today is 15th of May 2020 and this day internationally across the globe is celebrated as Astronomy Day, International Astronomy Day. So that is really a great day and as actually uh, the truth is that Astronomy Day is celebrated twice a year. So Today is the first year and there may be a second astronomy day this year of 2020. So this is first actually and that's even great day for me because I am really very much passionate towards astronomy. And as Professor Walter Levin writes in his book For the Love of Physics that every physicist working on earth has a love for astronomy. Really that is true for every physicist. Even Professor Walter Levin who had been in the physics of nuclear physics, atomic physics, but even he had a great love for astronomy. That's why he later changed his field and turned his field to X-ray astronomy. So the truth is every physicist has a love for astronomy and that is only because much of the scientific observations have been taken from stars, moons and planets and etc. So basically we can just know that whatever today physics we see, whatever today many, many things in chemistry we see. So basically as a whole physics we may call, much of physics has been derived directly from astronomy. And that's the true reason that any physicist, whether that is a nuclear physicist or whether he is an astrophysicist or astronomer himself, really likes astronomy very much. That's the true reason. So today is celebrated astronomy day. Astronomy, which is the scientific study of stars, planets, and moons, means whatever occurs, whatever are celestial bodies, whatever bodies are there beyond Earth's atmosphere atmosphere then the study of all those body is known as astronomy and astronomy is one of the first science to be ever developed which is some part of physics astronomy and physics are much related they're really much related because astronomy we study using the laws of physics chemistry and mathematics so you can also study it under physics like something of example if i try to study about some star or some planet so we try to apply the rules of physics chemistry and mathematics to study about the stars and planets and what final study we are getting what final observations we are getting is said to be astronomy there are many branches of astronomy and one of them is astrophysics itself, the astronomy that is a study truly using the laws of only and only physics. There is cosmology and cosmology is the study of universe itself. So we study about the universe as a whole, not particularly focusing on stars or planets, but we study about the history of universe, about the origin of universe and about the fate of universe that what's gonna be happening next in the universe, whether that will be an end to the universe, will there be an end to the time or was there a beginning of time? So we have to reply to the questions and we have to question really there are some questions we cannot reply after all using physics till the date. But since physics has answers to all kinds of questions, we haven't understood physics completely till the date and hope we'll understand soon and we will have a complete analysis of astronomy. Today, much discoveries have been already done in astronomy, in the field of astronomy. But there are a many low discoveries, more to be done in astronomy that are being done during the time of modern period. You may call it modern physics, modern chemistry after all, modern mathematics. And this day was originally started in 1973 by Dirk Berger, who was at that time the President of Astronomical Observational of Northern California. So he started the Astronomy, Astronomy Day, International Astronomy Day, giving it a reason for the general talk between general people and those people who are really expert in astronomy in order to share their feelings, their knowledge and 
their love towards astronomy that even general public and general people can also understand astronomy as well as the other great persons and experts in the field of astronomy so it's gonna be some kind of general talk between the two kind of people who really do not have much knowledge in science of astronomy and who are really very much expert in astronomy the great astronomers are the great astrophysicists this day you may also celebrate like some kind of discussion in your family to your friends discussions about astronomy what's your knowledge about astronomy you can celebrate it using stargazing because i would like to be truly speaking of there's no man standing on earth there's no man sitting at earth or there's no man lying on earth who when looks at the stars looks up at the night sky so there are questions arising in his mind that where did all the stars come from and how many stars are there in the universe or how many stars are there in our vast collection of stars called our galaxy called our milky way galaxy there's no man on earth who cannot rise those kinds of questions those kinds of beautiful and nice questions in his mind and astronomy has the answer at all astronomy can answer those questions in fact at all astronomy has the answers those stars were actually developed just like at the time just after at the time of big bang during the due to the large collection large amount of hydrogen and the colleges between the gases hydrogen gases and finally the stars were evolved and even there are deaths to the stars when stars become old enough they eventually die and when the stars die they collapse in the their own gravitational field and they form something that is really truly special and astronomy really loves the term a lot and this is said to be as black hole some great astronomers something like include professor stephen hawking who's my favorite physicist astronomer astrophysicist cosmologist whatever you may call whatever was his profession but uh, he was author or professor he was my favorite after and even is what professor walter levin and other great astronomers uh, something like include professor carl sagan who also worked in the field of extraterrestrial life who had a great contribution to physics and who really wondered about the nature who started wondering about the nature from the, his very childhood when he was also of my age so from then he had been something like stargazing hit the questions would arise in his mind where did the stars come from and will the stars ever end so those kinds of questions really arise in the mind of astronomers so this is some kind of general talk this is done twice twice a year so hope i'll be also getting an opportunity to make a video on second astronomy day of 2021 that will be also really great day for me because astronomy i just love astronomy i also want to become a physicist in my own self so i want to also work in the field of astronomy because what i'm really interested in like stars sun and black holes those are really the terms of astronomy which is the oldest of all science you may call it the the first or second means you may call it the first science ever developed that was astronomy there are even great astronomers like sir isaac newton so you may call whoever is a physicist or whoever a or vice versa you may call whoever is an astronomer he is also a physicist this really astronomy you uh, physics you may call has originally originated from astronomy so hope i'll get a chance to, to make a even uh, upload a content on youtube over the second astronomy day that i just made this video to show my all of my gladness over astronomy day and i again wish you happy astronomy day happy international astronomy day so thanks to always for watching this video jen jabharat